Hey everyone, it's Alan from Aeroboss.com. And what I wanted to go through in this video quickly, there's been a lot of people concerned about the error number 268D3 and wanted to talk a little bit about it, what it is, what it means if you get a pop-up window like this, and then how you can go about fixing it if this is something that's happening to you as well. So first of all, the error itself is what's also known as scareware or ransomware. And what this basically means is some companies make believe that you have an error or a virus or something on your computer and they will show a pop-up window or they will lock certain features or functionality of your computer through some kind of software install. And when this happens, you'll basically see, here's an example you can see here on, on our site, a picture that, sh that says your computer has been blocked, error number 268D3 please call immediately to fix. So you call that number and usually get some kind of call center and they will do either a remote connection to your computer or offer to sell you some kind of, of software or something to basically make sure to clean that up. Now, there are plenty of good virus scanners and malware scanners and software like that to help. The problem with these types of companies and this type of marketing is that it makes you think that you have an error or a virus or something when you really don't. And there are plenty of viruses and, and malware and garbage out there already. So for companies to do this type of stuff and to hijack your computer, your browser, whatever, is definitely something that is frustrating by any account. So there are a number of different ways to go about cleaning this stuff up there are some free programs out there you can download and scan and some of them do an okay job to get rid of the virus pop-up type things that you're getting other times you have to go through manually and go to your computer to reboot it in safe mode show all the hidden files and remove any of them that are associated with this specific error install and do a whole bunch of other steps which can be quite confusing and difficult if it's not something you're comfortable doing but if you are you can definitely go through and and look through sources and get some help to remove it and here is on our site just a, a quick list of what to do there are a number of different ways to go about doing these steps depending on your browser i mean your operating system so based on what operating system you have these steps will be a little bit differently which is why we didn't include the details but you can go through and look at, for example, how to show hidden files and folders on your system. If you have Windows 7 or if you're using Windows 8 or whatever operating system you're specifically using. Similarly, go through that and also look to figure out how to modify your hosts file, depending on which operating system you're using. And what you'll want to do there is to be sure to remove any external IP addresses. Basically what what this does, if there is an external IP address in your hosts file, it's essentially allowing them access to your machine. So what you can do is go to, just go to Google and type in what's my IP and you'll see your IP address and that should be the only one that's in there. Similarly, you might also have something like localhost in there, which is usually another way to, to manage your IP address specifically. A couple other steps you want to make sure to do are to verify your browser shortcuts and add-ons and extensions are all clean. In some cases, some of these malicious software pop-ups and things like that will actually change the shortcut to, for example, Mozilla Firefox, Internet Explorer, or Google Chrome. And if the shortcut itself is changed, it might be going to a location that looks like it's one of those specific browsers but it might be something that they've developed and are using to cause additional damage to your machine or your reputation or any of that type of stuff. One of the last things to do is to delete malicious or unknown system processes. And this is very important that you are familiar with this and know what you're doing if you're going to take this step into your own hands. So what this means basically is if you look at the processes running on your system at any time, you'll see a lot of necessary system processes, which are things that are required for your operating system to run. 
And you'll also see things that are open. For example, you'll see chrome.exe if you have Google Chrome open. You might see firefox.exe if you're using Mozilla Firefox browser. You might see iExplorer.exe, which is associated with a lot of the general features and functions of Microsoft Windows itself. So be sure you know what those processes actually are if you're going to end the process. Because if you do end a process and it's required for your computer to be running, then you will likely need to, at a minimum, restart your computer for it to resume functioning properly. And at a maximum, it might damage some of the software programs you have as well. And then lastly, and another one that is super important that you are familiar with if you're going to do something like this, would be to remove any of the malicious registry entries in your registry. And again, this is something that can cause a lot of damage and additional trouble on your computer if you're unfamiliar with what you're doing here. Basically, the registry is a directory of files and entries that your computer's looking at to see where to get specific information. So if that's changed and it doesn't know where to look, then it will not work properly. So definitely something to make sure that you're familiar with doing before you take any of these steps. Hopefully this short little guide is helpful for you about the 268D3 error. And again, it's not actually an official error at this point. It is just a scareware tactic that some company is using to get you to call them to fix the error. So if you do see this though, it does not mean, if you see it and you can exit out of it and, and your system is not harmed at all, then you should be good. If you see it and you have noticed function is impinged on your system, then it's definitely something you need to look into to get it cleaned up so that you can resume doing what you're doing properly on your machine. Hopefully this was helpful. Again, this is Alan from Erebos, and I hope you have a great day.